Throughout history, there has been a very common but almost quite a tragic trend within art. Okay, many many great artists have created many well a lot of great art. However, there's always this common trend of just a lot of pain. Okay, one great example of this is Vincent Van Gogh. If you don't know him, he is one of the most famous painters of the 18th and no wait 19th century. Okay, and he created a lot of expressive art. If you've heard. If you've heard of Starry Night before, he created that, okay? It's that painting with, like, um, this black, um, like, building over here, and then it's just, it's just very expressive, and it's, like, nighttime, and it's really nice, okay? Now, he was ahead of his time, okay? And what he created was just astonishingly beautiful, okay? But this is the thing. He didn't become famous. His art didn't become famous or really, re or really recognized until after his death, which is a shame, okay? Now, it was actually his brother and his brother's uh, widow that had basically pushed his art. That was when the world had started to recognize his art and for how amazing it actually was. Okay, and that is a shame because ha imagine how Vincent van Gogh would have reacted when he realized that the world really loved his art. Because throughout his lifetime, when he was growing up, his innate desire to create, his passion to become an artist, or to be an artist was rejected from his family, from his friends. When he was growing up, when he decided he wanted to be an artist, his parents did not want him to do that. Because during that time, during the 1800s, art was seen as a, a sense of, it brought shame to a, to a family, okay? Now, today it's a little bit different now, okay? But even right now, you can probably if you're, especially if you're an artist or wanting to be an artist, your parents might even say to you, okay, you should probably, you probably shouldn't pursue it because it's very risky. But this is the thing. What if you are also a Vincent van Gogh? What if you know someone as well that is almost like a Vincent van Gogh? Okay? Because history very easily repeats itself, okay? Where someone as great as Vincent van Gogh is creating amazing art, but he's not getting recognized until other people also see it and then start to push it out. Okay, this is one of the reasons as well. Okay, now this is kind of a self promo, but this is one of the reasons why I think community within the art world is so, so damn important. Okay, especially if you're creating a lot of great stuff and you're very ambitious and you want to almost change the world. Okay, which is why I've actually created a, a private community that you can join if you like. Now, I know we haven't gotten this far into this video, it's almost like three minutes. Okay, but I don't want any artists today similar to like Vincent Van Gogh, someone so forward moving, so ahead of their time, to not have their art recognized. I think that is an utter shame, okay? So I'd like you, especially if you are an ambitious artist, to just check the description of this video, okay? And then you can possibly join if you want, okay? But if you want to see more videos like this, okay, where I kind of delve into the history of art and then try, I try to help you as an artist as well, you can subscribe, you can leave a like, but please just check out the community and hopefully I see you there. Okay, we're doing a lot of great things. Okay, and if you have any video ideas as well, please let me know and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.